now or should I wait? Yeah, feel free to ask them. So there's one. I'm, I'm sure you. I'm sure you guys get a lot of questions about different, you know, build pieces, all kinds of recommendations. But something that something that I'm really curious about is why are there no one meter dark wood beams or diagonal uh, iron wood beams and stuff like that? Because as I understand it, it would be really easy to like design graphically. You just have to like scale it differently and i was wondering if there was a reason that they don't exist something that we might have might be uh might not have uh, we we made those uh for hearth and home um they're actually when you're working in unity it's not that difficult to make uh, them with prefabs and everything it's it's not a big deal mm -hmm. it was mostly just leaving some space to see what we want to add instead of just diagonal beams and so on. Um, I think you can. Um, it's. I think it's pretty safe to say that you will be getting. You will be getting some love in that area. Oh, cool. Uh, in the in the big update. I see. And the big reason actually is that I, I think. When we were doing them, there was no because because of the um, um, what's it called? I, I'm, I'm losing the words. Uh, the bearing, the the the, the steadfast steadfastness. What's it called? The consistency, the, uh, like your bearing, uh, like keeping your bearing. No, the. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, th that word that I'm looking for, uh, that word didn't make that much sense, adding those into them as well. So when we were doing Hearth and Home, we were mo mo mostly just like, just skip that for now. And uh, I think we just forgot to put them in, in the end, I guess. But there will, there will be stuff like that coming in the next update. I see. I, next, all right. So this is basically my version of a raid, in a sense. And I try to the feeling that I got. Yeah, I try to mix and match the creatures in a way that it will create interesting encounters. Or everybody goes through if they want to gather up. Oh, I got the build mask. I'll pop it. Mythic, your your ghost mode isn't working, so you have to kind of hover um, without I'm moving. Up another two. Okay. Just for all the good, it'll do. Here we go. All right, let's get it going. Um, Hello. Go. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> There's a lot on? of people in there. Oh god. Take care of some of these blobs. Get out. Yep, no shame in backing up and getting regeneration going. I got you with the heal. All right, it's safe. On the and floor looks clean. So many mods. The truly class. Oh, God. Class. There we go. Get up here where I can stab this mud. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh, by the oh, way, yeah. you guys missed a bunch of chests downstairs. You should, you should check them out, <laughs> especially Grim. There's a lot of stuff in oh, them. Shit. You guys got a uh, seven-star Draugr Elite who's quick. Yep, I've noticed. Yep. He has the quick status. Oh! So he... <laughs> oh. Why is that thing up there? Death. Had a little bit of a lag there. Why, how did this slime get up there? Very carefully. Huh? Wait, was there only one slime downstairs? Oh man. There are multiple uh, slime mobs. That's what you're talking about, like oozers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, I had two oozers downstairs, but I didn't have any on the second floor. Or the third one.
Okay, so... Let's just wait for Zindarek and see what's in these chests. I saw that. It does feel like a uh, 40 man uh, molten core raid from 2005 <laughs> or so. I mean, oh, man. It, the frame rate is dropping a lot. Yeah. <laughs> One of us should have been like just sprinting up to the front of the top of the freaking tower and be like, Lee Rob! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. He went in. Yeah. Uh, so you you'll see that there's different uh, aspects to it. We, you'll, I don't want to spoil it for you, but there, we won't always be in this tower. Yeah. All right. Yeah, some of the combat it, it, it gets better when because we'll use portals. <clears throat> kind of like this one right over here, labeled fun, fun, fun. Yes. Yep. That would be the next stop, I think. Excellent. Oh yes. You guys ready? Uh, we're still waiting on Zen, right? Yep, He's here. Right here. Oh, okay, cool. We going through? Front roll. Go on through. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've picked up something that's stopping me at some point. Yeah, I picked up some iron scrap. Yeah, Somehow, it work. yeah. Jeez. It doesn't work in ghost mode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Make sure you apply your poison. Bjorn and Zindrak are in the middle of it. <laughs> I'm swinging. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Swing harder! Bjorn, you might notice a, a bit of a change in this one, in this room. Oh yeah? I've added something extra. As you can see, there's another portal. Oh wow, they're melting! I had to go back through, else I would have died. Is that a shaman? Oh my god, how did I die? Okay. Well, how you did I die too? I went from 80 health to like zero instantly. Do you guys have your poison resist? I did. Damn. It was slowly thickened down, and I was at about I... 80, and then all of a sudden I just exploded. Was it the frost infusion? Because I assume it does. I like am. Alright. Sprint back. Oh my god! Is everyone that? Oh my. Wow. No. No. Are we just at the two deaths, I think? Oh, <clears throat> uh, we've had three now. Well, I mean, Zindrak twice, but Helga, they, they died once in this room. I believe so. Oh, I'm doing fine on health, but my stamina, man. <laughs> uh, nice. Oozer Daddy. So there is another <laughs> portal before you head back. <laughs> Oozer Daddy. So we're gonna, daddy, we're gonna wait for help ends in. I'm here. You guys go ahead. <laughs> Helga, are you on your way back? Yeah, we're both going through the portal at the same time. Cool. They're portaling in. Yo. All right. I'm gonna take a more uh, back oh my God. seat. Another item. Where is all the science crap coming from? It might be from the. Oh users. yeah, I, I remember this. I love the floor pattern in this room. Yep. It's, uh... Grim, oh, can you hurt. guess? Grim, can you guess what object this is? <laughs> that makes the pattern. Floor. Ow. Is this is this a sea floor? No, this is bone mass. Is it bone mass? It's something out of the. Wait. It's an object of the game, an environmental. Wait, no, it's one of those. Is it one of those uh, the the Droger spot piles? No. No, no. There is just one in the room. Oh, that's a 10-star armored oozer. I'm looking at the floor. I shouldn't be looking nope. at the walls. It's the uh, it's the crypts uh, guck thing. The scrap piles. Scrap piles, yeah. yes. Yeah, <laughs> Once I start no looking at the walls, like, all oh, right, now I see yeah. it. <laughs> Are these allied uh, deskitos in the room? Yeah, they should be the druids. The druid. Poison. Is he I standing no on top of the pile? Oh, God. Oh, no, Zimurak! How the heck did I... What? Yeah, or else I die. How did I just... Okay. That's a very good question. You're not even close to it. You guys are dying to poison. <laughs> hey, mages just aren't as tough. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. They are super squishy. Yeah, yeah mage with a freaking two-handed sword is probably not the best. <laughs> oh! <one. laughs> oh, oh, what? Grim, Grim goes down. down. I'm how down. did you smash? How did you just? I don't know how, how I died though. Weren't you like oh, half health? Like I had 85 health when I died last time, so. Uh, it says Grimcore died to Rythorn's PvP. Huh? Yeah. Rythorn killed it actually, him. It actually turned my PvP on at some point earlier as well. Oh. So well, I maybe we're it, just getting team killed on accident. Reported. Yeah, I think we are, actually. Sabotaged. <laughs> we'll check your PvP uh, settings, everyone. Yeah, I just had to turn mine off. Yeah, I had to I, turn mine so off, So I went PvP as soon as I went into the meeting hall area. Huh. Yeah, my bad. I didn't know mine was on. Oh, no. Yeah, mine was on. Was on. on. Yeah. I wonder if there's a uh, board out there that says enforce PvP or something like that. Gotta be. There's no ward around here, is there, Mythic? Huh? No, no, no. Is there a the ward out here? It. The only ward was the one that Zindarek disabled. Yep, I think we should be good now. Hopefully I'll stop dying so much now. <laughs> so, spirit-infused monsters... I'm just not gonna do it. ...will heal themselves. Yeah. I think somebody wants to heal this, this fight is gonna be very interesting. I think he wants to get out. I don't think I want to let him out. You guys have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a four-star four spirit-infused cultist. Yeah. He's oh, the oh. same as before, but there's more of you. He's and a butthead. He's what not... Hurt. He's not quick, though. So you can kite him with frost nerves and arrows. You should bring him into the big room. You should yep, kite I him agree. out. You should back off and, and let him come in. Mm. Oh, yeah! Don't let him hit you, because he likes skill. Don't Whoa. fail me now. Your nose exploding again. Yep. Fall on the roots. Should drag and throw his aggro a little bit. Ooh, is he life stealing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Magnus taking a big slap. Don't let him hit you. Yeah, one hit is about half your life, I think. Does Run anyone even have bring a Bring back snare? up, bring back up. I thought Mace's were more two-hander in that chest in the last room. I hope someone grabbed it. The, uh, Undying Devotion? Yes. Yes. That's my OG. Durability. That was my OG weapon when I first got in. Oh, nope, 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 nope. He turned towards me. I'm getting out. Not with my bow out. <laughs> Just wants to be friends. Nope. <laughs> I'm the Undying for a reason. Half of that is because <laughs> I don't get hit when I can't take it. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's usually a smart move. That's the best defense. It's just don't get hit. He just wants a hug. Welcome to death. Oh, Magnus is almost didn't make it oh, through that one. Wow. Also, there's a there's a little bit of a that. Good call. Good call. I don't know if he's listening to this, but good job, Magnus. I was about a skin of his teeth. There. My man lives. I yeah. turned up your shit. I did not fear death. Says the guy who was sneaking in survival. <laughs> I fear no man. <laughs> we ready for bone mass? Is that what's next? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh oh oh! You're gonna uh, love make this, sure Grim. You guys pop your your poison potions. Yeah, that's what I was just doing. Make sure the po poison is still good. Uh, double mass. Twice the mass. Twice the mass and twice the mess. <laughs> also, there's a bunch of Droger spawners. 
And the tactic is you gotta kill the spawners in order to not get overwhelmed, because they could spawn like really high level stuff. Yeah, like this uh, five star aggressive fire infused drawer oh, leader that's chasing me right now. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Oh Hell no, God. dude. Good luck with yeah, that, I'm leaving. The guy's more so dangerous than the aggressive, yeah. Are the, the skeleton piles, are they the spawners? Yes. The uh, piles. The, no, the skeleton piles yeah. are not. There's four right. of them. The vanilla dragger piles you'll find. And they have, uh, okay, okay. as you will discover, they have increased HP. The, actually, the skeleton piles, I think, are meant as a uh, troll. On. They're, they're just a visual. Yeah. Does it not take damage or am I lagging or? I think oh, there's yeah, there some go. lag going on, yeah. Like, I know he's regenerating, but this guy's Ooh. just tanking hits. Hold piles down. Oh, that was quick. A lot of his ears. We've got There's some a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, that's one working more. on that Draugr. There we go. Aggressive fire, five star. Oh god. Yep. Don't no, let him those. touch I'm you. Not, I do. <laughs> I do start spreading heavy. I'm like, nope. <laughs> there he goes. He's going down. He's down. Now a warning for you guys, the bone mass health bar at the top is only for one of these two models. If you're attacking and doing no damage, you've just got the wrong one and you're still doing damage. Alright. No oh, okay. okay. Hello. So, uh, Grim, now that we're fighting one of the bosses from the vanilla part of the game, and Mistlands and the other biomes are coming out with their own bosses, is there like a different approach to how you guys tackle the bosses and how they how dynamic they are versus just having them have a couple moves and just repeating those move sets yeah, absolutely we try to like we we don't want to overcomplicate and make super complicated bosses we want you to basically understand the gist of uh, get the gist of it pretty quickly at least um, so for example the bone mass fight is uh, pretty much just like try to Try to keep these spawns and adds down as much as possible, and uh, go in for the kill uh, when you can. When we do, when we did like motor or motor, uh, we knew that we wanted to have like a sky fight where where she was or a sky phase where she would be like in the sky and everything. Um, the difficulty there was like just having her AI work correctly and doing attacks from the sky and then landing, which we actually had no functionality for when we did that one. Um, and Yagluth is, is basically... <laughs> Yagluth is fun. I, I like that guy. Uh, yeah, he's the best uh, off music in my opinion. Which, I like the yeah, band. I, I kind of like Bone Mess the most. Uh, I like the... I just like the sound of it. The, the, like the Bone new Man. boss is, is going to be... Different. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, it, it is. It feels fun awesome. already. Um, it is it, it, very difficult boss. I have to say, yeah, it's probably the most complicated boss we've done so far. Um, Ooh, as it should be. But, but I think it's. I, I think it's quite. You'll understand it pretty quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think everyone's going to be able to to beat the new boss. Um, <laughs> to be honest, so you're gonna hear a lot a, about a, it in our Reddit. company who's not even beating the boss as it is right now. Huh. Uh, so. so you guys are still scaling the difficulty. Basically, mm -hmm. after Yaglet, they're just gonna continue to get more and more stronger. I, most of the things in Valheim actually scale very linear, uh, yep. which is. It, which is not really good. Uh, one thing that we've noticed in in the Mistlands right now is uh, food. When things scale linearly, um, when you've got so much health and so much stamina, and and you just look at how much you get from the new food and so on. If you want to keep the linear curve being linear, then 
also means like you don't get that much from from the new food and so on, which is sometimes like so why even make the new food, uh, which is something we're balancing next week a bit more uh, recipes and stuff like that. Uh, but when it comes to bosses, we have like a curve for that as well, which is just a linear curve, which means it's just a straight line. <laughs> I have a question. Then. Have you ever thought about implementing percentage health mechanics? Like bosses or players have the, the option to do damage based on the percentage of the health of their target? Is uh, that something that... Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah, we, we have. Uh, and we have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, as someone who's a super huge fan of uh, Dark Souls, the thought that you're making the bosses more difficult really appeals to me a lot. I think it has to become more difficult because, well, we'll see what how it ends up in the end. But I, I think it has to become more and more difficult, or maybe a little yeah. bit more complex over time. Uh, otherwise, it's just uh, repeating the same thing all the time, and then that's never actually that fun. So just as a general question, uh, do you guys have an end game in mind for how you guys want to wrap up Valheim? Uh, we we have uh, we have a vision for how we want to wrap it up, uh, and also have it uh, have an ending, but also have a beginning uh, at the same same time. So it, it'll be. Can't say anything about that, but we do have we have an idea of how we want to wrap everything up. Um, Most people would assume that by the end of Valheim, you ascend into Valhalla. So um, that would personally, I think that would be amazing to see, and then you would basically just that character is ascended down. So I kind of see where you're going with what it, every ending is a new beginning. With the, well, when I, it comes to at least to the mythology, at least. I'm not saying that what I'm saying. Okay, what I'm saying now is not really what's going to happen later, or it might be, or may may not be. But the way I see it, which is might be different from how Richard sees it, is that I think Valheim is a place in exile. It's a place where it's not connected to the the, the Yggdrasil tree anymore. It's uh, that's why you, you can't really die here anymore, and I, I think there's a there's a reason why we, we can't connect that much to the gods. And I think um, if you if you know anything about the um, Ragnarök, there there's a place where after <laughs> the, the, the big the big battle and everything uh, takes place, where every, everyone basically dies, and there's a this new place where you get to live again. Um, a couple of few special chosen people. I kind of see that that's what, what Valheim is kind of is kind of. And there's this lots is the of one with the cage at the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have more. Yeah, I remember this room. Pain in the butt wraiths that trap us in this. I'm not sticking in this hallway. This hallway. It should be. Time. It should be pretty easy. <laughs> Wait, what are you, Zinderak? Does anyone have a bone mask? Zinder, this is not how you do it. <laughs> this is called the train. You just run around in circles and drag, drag they're gonna everybody else. They're gonna overwhelm you though. Oh my god. Is there any AOE? Retreat! Who has the who has the mullet? No, has I the, learned the last time that you don't hang out. I learned last time that you don't hang out in the hallway because then they just spawn camp the portal. So the only option is to go into the open room. Hmm. Or you can just last not time die. Stuck in the portal. I mean you want to come down here and take this on, Mythic? You want to, you want to keep on coming? Uh, I would have approached <laughs> it a lot differently. But, I mean, well, it's kind of late now because you've already been really Jenkins and everything. <laughs> well, no, the issue is that I'm trying really? to run around in circles to draw their aggro. I really than wanted it all to. Up in the tiny uh -oh. I actually spawned them differently this time, so I wanted to see how many will aggro from the entrance. Oh man. I wonder if I can even do this. Nope, doesn't look like it can. We're dying oh, over. wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, Magnus is down. <laughs> God damn it, Let's Leroy. The checkpoint. <laughs> Looks oh, like a hurt. chicken. Alright, I don't feel like that hammer is helping very much here. 
Yeah, the hammer doesn't knock back the rates, unfortunately. Oh! Yes, blame the guy who was trying to get the train going to make sure that no one else got stuck in the hallway. It's so ironic that Cinderag is the call. only one who survives. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, I'm still here. not dead yet. Mmm, <laughs> Tars, fun. Oh god. Gross. Oh, leg. Oh, oh god, leg. leg. Oh, you pulled those too. Oh, Grim, did you guys get that? 35 health! Thing? Did you guys finally get that out of customs? We got it out of customs, and <laughs> Henrik turned up. And he's one of the, uh, the founders of uh, Iron Gate, and was like, uh, Grim, we have something to our company. Is this something sent to you, or was this something you were expecting? Because we have to pay for it. Do you want it? It's like, oh, yeah, I want it. <laughs> it wasn't that much to pay, but it was like, hmm, are you sure it's not a bomb or something? You know how people are actually... Uh, we do fix. get threats uh, every week, by the way. Uh, what? Release Mistlands, or we will. The last one was from a Spanish guy. It was like, <laughs> uh, I will eat your father and kill your grandmother <laughs> and something. That is absurd. Man. I feel like that's like a rite of passage for most indie game studios nowadays, unfortunately. Why are people like Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It's ridiculous. <laughs> if they want to get violent, oh, they should you get a PvP in game. Uh, like, it's so much internet heroism that oh, it's God. like it's it's stupid. Like if they'd met us in real life, they wouldn't be saying stuff like that. And it's uh, it's easy to be brave behind text. Uh, yeah, that's it is. So you were able to get you got it. You got the cape head. Yeah, it was it was really really nice. It is uh, it was copper. All right, was. I got that growth down. Nice. Hey. Trying to slow these guys oh. down by hitting some frost. So the purpose of the blast furnace at the moment, yeah, is that intended to be the next kind of tier of furnace, and that's the only reason why it takes black metal now is because there's plans on trying to add in new metals from the different biomes later to be used through the blast furnace. Kind of like we have copper, tin, and iron going through the smelter. Yeah. But so basically, we were talk back in the day when we were doing uh, planes. Uh, just before before the access, we wanted to have a blast furnace that would basically melt stuff like we're talking about like ancient metal, uh, the flame metal, ice metal, like just stupid metals, uh, anything new. But specifically, we were talking about like the black metal and some kind of metal that you would have get from rewards from doing uh, elite locations, really difficult locations, you get a specific metal, but then we ran into the problem that, okay, so we need, we actually need some kind of system where the metals that we do get can improve our current stuff and not just make new armor, new stuff. Wait, I thought this was an enemy, it was a friendly route? This or yeah. it is, yeah. That is from the Druids. Yeah. The Valheim Legends mod that adds classes into the game with specific powers in the Druid. It can summon in roots, like the Elder. And Death Cheetos. Oh, I think our, some of our braver warriors have went down already. Very I tried to get down there, but uh, once I get past the water level, I literally just start swimming on top of the stairs. You will probably have to walk out and back in then. Oh my god! I can just do this. Watch out for the growth that's yeah, down here. Nope. <gasps> that didn't help. Does he I'm damage you through the shield? If anybody needs help, I will, if you come up here, I will heal you. <laughs> That's all I can do to support right now. I have heals. Should I should I jump in? Feel free. Oh. So Grim, is there a plan to go back to the original biomes that you guys have and just maybe yeah, add okay. a few more different mobs? Yeah, I just needed to get out Talk and get my stamina back. Uh, I think... I, I don't think there is so much uh, big plans on doing that right now. I think that's some kind of uh, uh, 1.0... Pa uh, post 1.0 thing. Um, because I think adding new mobs in existing biomes... <sighs> More balancing. Yeah, more balancing and it's it's 
they, they need to drop something new and that might disrupt the uh, the biome or, or, or the uh, the phase that you're in currently. Like I think that's then. yeah, I think it's better to just wait for 1.0 and then do do something with that instead. So when Grim was here last time, we did talk about black metals dropping, that it was uh, a better experience for, you know, you kill enemies, foolings, and you get black metal, versus the iron had to be picked out of uh, swamp crypts like this one. We're, we're actually, this dungeon is built above and below a swamp crypt. We don't enter the crypt itself. We're, you know, above and below it in... Mm in the black space where, you know, we're 5,000 meters above the sky where the dungeons exist and built around a crypt structure. But, uh, yeah, so the, like, picking iron was, you know, tedious. And we talked about that before, you know, getting these metals. Something that I wouldn't want to see in Mistlands is more picking for the metals versus drops from creatures that we could get, like the Fooling's Drop Black Metal. That would be mm. nice. Or maybe a combination of both, because I enjoy the picture yeah. of the metal. Right. Combination of both, too. <clears throat> some enemies drop it. Sometimes you can find it in deposits. Might be a best... <laughs> very helpful situation. Uh, I think the way it's set up... My, okay, my favorite place is the Black Forest. I think that's the best biome. I think it Great. represents uh, Valheim as, it's, uh, as the greatest point, I think. Because the progression there in the dungeon, you get introduced to dungeons and you get you get the certain core and, and, and the certain core gives you a recipe and you want to go back to base. You're getting something new and you're like, oh, what's this? And you get to do the the, the whole metal thing, which is which I think is really fun in uh, Black Forest. The whole progression there is yeah. is great, and, and I... you get your boat and everything and so on. And uh, but personally, right now, I have to say that my second favorite place is Mistlands when it comes to progressing and doing stuff and uh, challenges. So the Mistlands, is it like sort of like when, because when you start the game, you start in the meadows and when you hit the Black Forest, you see the troll for the first time and you're like, holy crap. And that kind of takes you aback and you're like kind of worried about going to the Black Forest. Is it that, yep. do you guys have anything in the Mistlands where that where you feel when you see it, you don't have to tell us exactly what it is, but when you see it, you're just like, holy crap, and you kind of are more cautious about entering into the new biome. Yeah, we have one of those. Yes. Awesome. That seems I look to be the it. Uh, it's like a, it me of, that tends to be the trademark of a new biome, is that you end up going there, and you're like, oh god, and the plains is notorious for that, and there's so many memes of people just like having Vietnam flashbacks about their first time going to the plains. Well, it's like you're up until the plains. I feel like most of the really dangerous stuff is big, mm -hmm. so you don't really consider the little fuelings or fuelings or whatever to be that dangerous till one of them hits you upside the head with a spear. Well, for me, it was and, a death skeeto, even smaller. Well, true. Like, There's no way that thing's gonna be any kind of danger. It's a tiny little thing, and all of a sudden, just explode. Oh, okay. Yep. I actually spoiled myself on that a little bit because I sailed past the planes and watched a deer just explode into chunk <laughs> because the Deskito bit it once and I was like, uh... I understand why they're called Deskitos. So yeah, we got right. one more portal here, right? Yeah, yep, it's the abomination. It's the Wait, what? Why is everything outside? Hold on, I need to... Uh... <laughs> that one, what is oh, there's one there's portal here. Void four, that's it, okay. What is after Mythic's done fixing everything? Hold for minor technical difficulties. So just in the same vein of what we're talking about whenever it comes to <laughs> vein, whenever it comes to uh the furnaces and things along those lines, like what the current metal uh progression tree looks like. Whenever it comes to the smelter, you obviously have tin, iron, copper, all the different lower tier metals that go into the smelter. But for the furnace, the blast furnace, there's only black metal. Is there any talk of trying to make it to where it's backwards compatible? That way it's more of a upgrade directly from the smelter to the blast furnace since it requires more advanced materials rather than only taking black metal? Um, like allows the opportunity to be able to make like copper bars and iron bars, things like that? We, we did discuss this in the beginning, like, do we want to do this or, or not? But we think that it is in 
Oh, okay, are you trying to push me into the portal? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Grim. I, I don't think it's in, in Valheim's best interest to make things too obsolete by just replacing them, because then it would be better just to ditch the, uh, uh, the Blast Furnace instead. Uh, and then go back to the normal furnace in that case. Uh, we want you to, when we make a new thing like the black blast furnace, we want you to, to think about the placement of it and uh, that you have it at all. Um, there hasn't been too much talk about uh, backwards compatibility, uh, to be honest. It's not something we discuss that much. Maybe that will change in the future. Um, is is it such a big deal? It's not a huge deal. It's just something that whenever I was on the different Discord and Reddit, a lot of folks mentioned that whenever it comes to the black the blast furnace, that it doesn't really feel like very much of an upgrade because it basically locks you out to where you still have to use the smelter, and it doesn't make any sense whenever it comes to for a lot of folks whenever it comes to like okay, you've got this big blast furnace that's designed to have like you know these specially sized bricks and it's got this automatic bellows system and it's obviously way more advanced than the smelter but for some reason it just arbitrarily doesn't take copper or iron like you could tell that it's very much more advanced whenever it comes to the graphics of it but it just feels like it's less of an upgrade and more like you build it and spend the resources just so you can get the last metal and it and then you take up more space in that sense where you've got twice as many of your furnace smelters taking up space for that use yeah. Now, when I think of it, I, I remember. <laughs> You're not gonna like this answer, but uh, we we try to operate or not, not try, but a lot of the ideas we get is like basically the the rule of cool. And one day Richard said blast furnace, and we said that's cool, and we put that in. I think that's how it started, and then we gave it a, uh, and then we gave it the purpose. <laughs> so maybe it's not too thought about. So uh, I can't really. <laughs> I can't really defend great. the blast furnace. That's a I great answer. Say, I can't say anything about that either because a lot of the mods that I've put in this mod pack, I'm literally was just like, oh, that's cool. And they're like, how to work? I don't know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, many times that's how we come up with a lot of the ideas. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, let's make it work. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, does it make sense? It's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's completely understandable. I was just bringing it forward to something that a lot of folks that I've been noticing have been talking about and I kind of agree with whenever it comes to the blast furnace. Just having it to where maybe it has greater capacity or if not greater capacity, just the ability to have backwards compatibility. So it feels like more of a progression type thing where you feel like you've upgraded it. Like, yeah, if you get an iron sword, you might not want to go back to a bronze sword, but that doesn't mean that the bronze sword doesn't have its purpose. It's just now you've evolved to the next level. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you make really good points and I shall bring them up next time we talk about the last furnace because you, yeah, good points. Well, I appreciate well it. Put. 